Bond University Rugby Club is going through um, an important year in terms of transitioning from what used to be um, the Gold Coast Breakers Rugby Club and is now Bond University Rugby Club. Now what we did is we thought it was important to try and um, establish a identity for Bond University Rugby Club and from that we put together what we thought were worthy values of a rugby club that the boys wanted to be part of. The five values we came up with were commitment, respect, positivity, teamwork and discipline. Commitment is a, means a number of things to me, but to break it down into three main points, the first thing that it means to me is love and passion. If you don't love something and you don't have the passion for something, you're not going to be able to commit to it. Okay, so one thing that I tell the boys is that in order for them to come to training, they need to love rugby, they need to love training, which everyone does, otherwise we wouldn't be here. The second point of commitment is responsibility and time. If we don't have responsibility with getting the small things done before we get onto the field, then when we get, when we get onto the field, we're not going to be able to perform. So things like rocking up to training on time. We need to be able to commit and take the responsibility to rock up to training on time, to come, to, come get the strapping done on time. Third point in regards to commitment is loyalty. For us to commit to each other, to commit to the club, we need to be able, we need to be loyal to the club. We need to be loyal to each other as players. I had four main points for respect. One was respecting, we should respect each other, our volunteers, our club. And the second one was we should respect Bond itself by respecting our gear, our, our facilities. And uh, my third one was uh, we should respect the game. Because the game, if we didn't respect the game, if we didn't find this game important, we would, why would we be playing it? And my last uh, point is uh, to respect our key values because if we don't respect them, how can we learn from them and lead on to be a team? If you want to be respectful, you've got to be respected. Personally, to me, I see discipline as being the bridge between setting your goals and then achieving them. I try and involve discipline in every, everyday life whether it be with study or whether it be a training, game day or anything. So what I like to do is work out a timetable for myself where I can put aside my, my, rugby, my rugby brain and get, get the study going at night to try and um, complete my degree to the best of my ability. And that goes for your job or for your study or for really anything you need to do. You need to get, find a balance between your rugby and then your other factors in your life. During my schooling days, that's what my parents always told me that the one thing to try and keep a perfect balance between sport, academics and your social life. And I think that's pretty much the key to everything is to find that balance.